Okay, this is a video for a 2016 Cascadia DD13. I got code SPN2659 FMI18. And uh, everything I've looked at suggests the sensor that goes right on that body. There's a plug for it. Uh, as you can see, it's full of uh, carbon in there. It's a pretty straightforward, uh, easy exchange this is a new sensor picked it up at the Doggett Freightliner uh, gasket on the side extra aside from the part um, comes with the new pigtail I guess for older and newer versions see if mine will just plug in and this is the piece where it actually bolts onto this one was full of soot and carbon all the way up like to the rim there was no passage whatsoever so the main thing about this video is that these uh, ports where it detects and measures the pressure they're at an angle okay and the one on the side i guess the fatter side it can go all the way through and you could use like a thin screwdriver or uh, something that'll pretty much fit the hole and puncture all the way through on the other side it has the same angle you can see here in the molding maybe a little bit uh, but it bumps against this wall here and then you'll start getting metal shavings if you use like a drill bit or a screw or something to break it. So what I did was get a hanger. I turned it into a 90 degree kind of deal. Stuck it in through the, uh, you can't, probably can't see the little hole in there, but you'll see the hole. Stick that in there. And then like with a piece of wood or something, wedge it in to force it downward and break up the soot. If not, um, the best tool for the job is gonna be an O-ring puller with the 90 degree. And that's how I got that uh, cleared up. And now we got air passage through both of these ports. So that should clear the code. Another reason for the video is because more than likely, I don't think a shop will take the time to take this apart and clean it out, get all the soot, get rid of all the buildup. And you'll probably just keep getting codes after that. So uh, if you do it yourself, it's real simple. One, two bolts. Over here, it's just a clamp, like a radiator hose. Two bolts for the sensor. It takes about... 10 minutes to take it all out.